Depends on the night. <laughs> this is a very hard one. It's a very hard one. I think fuck it off. Like I said, he's on an intelligent, different type of intelligence in the fighting game. So, um, I think there's a type of ring intelligence, a fight intelligence you have, and I think he's on a very high, high, different level, type of level. So, but I think it, it will definitely depend on, on what shape he, he comes in, because in the end, to be able to do what you want to do with your fight intelligence, and with your body, your body needs to be in, in, in great and amazing, sh in amazing shape. Because otherwise you, you can't, in other words, you, you just can't perform the things you have in your mind. Your body just doesn't do because it's tired. So I think that's, that's going to be a, a very important thing. If he's yeah, in great shape, he's, uh, he's going to have a good fight. It's going to be a crazy exciting fight. So I think that's a fight everybody wants to see. So two crazy motivated guys and one that's like on a good winning streak, Dumbe and Groenhardt who's who wants back what he he tasted before. So yeah this is a uh, two hungry guys. Who takes it? Depends on the night. <laughs> this is a very hard one. It's a very hard one. So uh, because um, well, to be to be really honest, is I like the development Dumbe's been through. He's, he developed really well. He got a lot better throughout uh, his last fights, and for me, I haven't seen a real change in uh, in Myrtle, his his game. So, if he's gonna bring the same game, I think it's gonna be tough. I think it's gonna be tough, and because that's where you. You gotta keep evolving because the sport evolves. Everybody just keeps getting better and has different training methods and whatever. So I think that's a very important key to stay the best for a very long time. And I think, in my opinion, Dumbe did that very well. So, but he just doesn't need to go uh, in there emotionally. That's I think that's a very important thing to everybody, of course, when you fight and you when you're emotionally in a different level, you. Yeah, you make you make mistakes. So I think that's uh, I think that's key. So but like I said, still, even though uh, Myrtle his fighting game is is really strong, so I think it's gonna be a good fight to watch. Oh, he changed, he changed countries with the people. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. So uh, so yeah, then uh, yeah, I hope to see something different in his fighting game. So let's let's see what he's gonna bring. What he's gonna bring to the table. And that's gonna be that's gonna be really cool because if he's if he mixes up his his fighting game, because he has that he has that extra edge that we love to watch. Like Dumbe has that extra edge. So like I said, it's gonna be an amazing fight to uh, to see. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it as well. Uh, so the Vensust uh, Pereira fight is yeah if. Yeah, Pereira brings the yeah the Pereira fighting game to the to the table. Is uh, yeah, it's gonna, Vesus is gonna have uh, both hands full. But like I said, it's uh, I like I like both of them. So they're uh, very good fighters. And of course, I also like that we have a, a women's fight on the on the card. So it's amazing. Tavares versus Abena. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good fight. And I think Tavares is gonna gonna take the win because I also like the, the development he's making as a, as a young fighter coming up and yeah just the movement the skill set the, it's all there just like at sometimes I feel like a sm small thing he misses in his game but I see it getting better every fight so uh, I love that he's working on yeah on those things <laughs> 